In both Egyptian and Greek mythology, it's said that art was invented by someone tracing the shadow of a person on a cave wall. Shadows give a scene more of realism and solidity. An object's shadow firmly establishes its location in relation to its surroundings. Rasterization is focused on triangles rendered from the eye, so we have to work a bit to generate shadows. One popular method of adding these is called shadow mapping. This algorithm dates way back. It was first described by Lance Williams in 1978. The idea is to render the scene from the point of view of the light. Whatever the light sees is what gets lit. Remember our firefly with human eyeballs? This is where that answer comes into play. If a light doesn't see a surface, that means the surface is in shadow. In fact, this is exactly how the basic algorithm is done. The scene is rendered from the view of the light and the distance of the closest objects is stored at each pixel. Because the light has to look in a particular direction and has a limited field of view, the light source used for shadow mapping is often a spotlight of some sort. A spotlight can be pointed in a direction and has a constrained view of the world. In 3JS, the only lights capable of casting shadows are spotlights and directional lights. For directional lights, you specify the limits of how wide the light extends. 